Hi, in this video we are going to see how to export a data table to an Excel file in C Sharp using Syncfusion Excel SEO. For that, let's create a new WinForms console application. I am creating the project in a folder at the desktop. Creating the project with the name export data table to Excel. The new project is created. Now I should add a NuGet package Syncfusion XLSAO.WinForms. Open Manage NuGet package and browse for Syncfusion.XLSAO.WinForms. Select the package and install it. Install the latest package. The package will install three assemblies Syncfusion XLSAO.base, Syncfusion.licensing, and Syncfusion.compression.base. Let's add a using statement to use XLSAO APIs. Now we need to initialize the Excel engine. I'm using the using statement. Now we need to access the Excel application and assigning to the application object. Now we need to choose the default Excel version. I select XLSX option. This option will be compatible with all the future Excel versions. So I'm selecting with that. Now create a workbook with a single worksheet. If the parameter is not given, three worksheets will be created by default. But here I am creating workbook with single worksheet now creating a worksheet object accessing the first worksheet and assigning to the object next we need to create a data set now I'm creating a data set object to load a data table from the XML file. So I have an XML file, so I'm going to load that XML file and load it into a data table. For that, I'm initializing this data set. Uh, the XML file is named as employees, so I'm using that 
file this file is placed in data folder of the projects path Now we need to create a data table, table object. I'm accessing the first table from the data set. Now I'm going to import the data table into Excel worksheet. I'm going to use the import data table method. This uh, method has different overloads to satisfy various requirements. Here I am importing the data table with the column headers and with its data type. And uh, I'm going to import from first row, first column. I'm setting the types and preserving the types from the data table. Now this code will import data to the Excel worksheet. Now after importing, I want to create a table for that imported data. So I'm uh, going to create an Excel table for the data. list objects is nothing but excel tables creating a list object in the first worksheet I want to apply a table style here. So applying a built-in table style. I select this.
now once the data is imported the data the column width will be uh, odd so i want to auto fit each column with the data so i have applied auto fit now we need to save the file save the final workbook to a file stream and dispose the stream Now the workbook is saved and the stream is disposed. Now let's build the program. Oh, sorry, I missed to add a bracket. Yeah, it compiled. Now let's execute it. Yeah, the file is saved in the debug folder. This is the output file with the data imported in the first sheet. Sorry, I chose the wrong table from the data set. I should change the table and run the application again. I have selected table 0. Now I have changed to table 1. Yes, here is the output file. Finally, the data table is exported to an Excel file using XLSIO. Thank you.